up, y'all? <clears throat> well, it is Monday, September 30th-ish, I think. Uh, we are officially Kentucky residents. It's all over. We're done. Moving. It's done and over with, and I couldn't be happier. Um, so today, uh, it's unloading the trailer day and sorting and organizing the last bit of stuff we brought down from Illinois. I don't know where it's going to go. Uh, the mini barn out back is full. The two storage units are full. I went to Walmart yesterday, bought a few tubs, uh, cause there's a lot of just random stuff that we had to throw in. Um, yeah, I don't know. So today's going to be interesting. We're going to figure it out and try to see where everything can go. And then tomorrow, starting tomorrow, finding a job. Uh, I got a lot of good leads, a lot of good perspectives, prospects, prospects. That's not the right word. Anyways, I got a lot of good leads, we'll call it that. Um, talk to a lot of people in town here, and, you know, there's lots of places hiring. The only problem is down here, uh, minimum wage in Kentucky is like $7.25 or $7.50 an hour, which blows. Um, so, uh, obviously, I'm not going for minimum wage jobs, obviously, but minimum wage does affect wages drastically because most places down here are probably only going to be hiring 12 15 dollars an hour and i definitely need to make more money than that so we're going to see what happens we're going to go to a couple different places um i got a mechanic job lined up at a motorcycle shop the jail is hiring the sheriff's department is hiring i don't really know what i want to do yet either so i want to feel things out i want to go around and see what the wages are at these different places get some interviews set up and at least um do a few interviews before I make my mind up. I'm not going to take the first thing that comes to me. Um, you know, like I said, the biggest thing for me is that, and I hate, I hate sounding like a hypocrite because I hate when things are all about the money. But when you're making money, it kind of needs to be all about the money. Um, but I also want to do something I enjoy doing. So I'm not one of these people that can have a mundane job job, and hate going to work every day just because they have to make money. That's not me. That's not my style. I have to enjoy going to work, otherwise I lose interest fast. I lose interest very fast in everything. It's called ADD. Um, squirrel! Uh, but, I, and I do. Um, if I don't enjoy what I'm doing, I get bored, and then I just lose all motivation to go. So I want to make sure I pick the right job and uh, figure out something that I'm going to actually enjoy doing and enjoy getting up and going to work every day like I did in law enforcement and like I did at the gun shop. Unfortunately, the gun shops around here aren't hiring. Um, there's two big gun shops in town, and then the rest are like gun and pawn. I'm not going to work at a pawn shop. That's not my style. Um, plus, they probably won't pay anything either, so we'll see. I got I got, I got, got some, some places to stop. I've talked to some people. I've talked to some folks. Uh, that work at the jail that were walking around Walmart getting stuff the other day. Uh, they had their uniforms on, whatever. I stopped and talked to them. The gal that runs uh, hiring, she said, yeah, stop in and talk to me. I told her about my background in law enforcement and stuff. She said, yeah, stop in and see me. We'll talk or whatever. So that's cool. Um, I got the place, the motorcycle shop lined up to turn wrenches on bikes. Don't 100% know if I want to do that yet or not. I don't know what it pays. Um, Three of the sheriff's departments are hiring. I've applied at two. Uh, one was waiting for me to email them back to set up an interview, so I'll do that tomorrow. Um, but, yeah, so anyways, uh, that's what we got going on. So today, I'm going to finish the trailer. Well, here we are again. This is going to be fun. Yep. Nope. This is going to totally suck because 99% of the stuff in there is not in tubs. It was literally just thrown in there to get done and get here. What am I doing to myself? God, I wish I didn't have so much stuff. So, coming to realize 99% of the stuff isn't staying here. Um, I took out what I think is staying. I got about half a little more than quarter, a little over half, a little, a little over quarter, not quite half through the trailer, and realize that most of the stuff isn't staying here. Now, there's about this much room in the storage unit, so I'm going to have to get extremely creative. Um, I, I hate to do it, because if I need the trailer for something, I want to just be able to use it, 
but I could keep some stuff in the trailer if I had to. I don't want to. Or if I have to keep something in the trailer, I'd rather keep toys in the trailer than boxes and tubs and shit. Because if I ever need the trailer for something, then I'm going to have to unload all that stuff. And if there's a bunch of boxes and tubs, it's going to take forever and it's going to be more work than it needs to be. If there's a couple, you know, a dirt bike and a mini bike or something, just use it as a mini garage. Those are easy to wheel out and park somewhere, right? So, I don't know. This is my day today, though. So, nothing crazy, nothing exciting. I need, I need something like that in my life, though. I need to get back to racing. I need to find the local track. I need to go ride. Uh, I need to get the bagger out. I need to do something because the guy's going crazy. Uh, I tried to sleep in today and it didn't work. Um, I haven't put the camper up on the um, stabilizers yet because it's an older camper so they're not automatic like the new ones where you just push a button. It ain't that fancy. You got to get underneath there. You got to level her out. I got to go buy some bricks to put the the jack stands, I'm going to call them jack stands, levelers, whatever. They look like jack stands to me. But I got to go buy some bricks because we are on grass, uh, which is probably <laughs> not the greatest idea. But uh, anyways, what I was getting at is when anybody moves in the camper, front of the camper, back of the camper, middle of the camper, it bounces a lot because it's on the tires and the suspension. So once I get it up on the, the, the stabilizers, jack stands, whatever you want to call them, um, I know that'll, that'll help mitigate that, but, uh, the wife started her new job today, so she was up at, I don't know, 5 30, 6 o'clock this morning, moving around and stuff, and that woke me up, and then, um, I like my room, I like my space when I sleep, uh, and the camper bedroom is small, and the bed is small, it's a queen, I think, maybe a full, um, so she's sleeping in the bedroom on the actual bed. I'm sleeping on the fold-out up front in the camper. And of course, that's where the door is. Um, we have double doors, but we're not using the back door because there's stuff in front of it right now, clothes and stuff or whatever. We still haven't fully figured things out yet. <clears throat> so anyways, um, she has to come up front. So my head was right by the door when she opened it. And of course, the sun was blaring in. and What little bit of sun we did get today. Woke me up. Not a big deal. It is what it is. Um, but, I don't know. We've got to figure some things out still. I know I keep saying that, but it's just the reality of it. This is this is it. I want to get done with this today, though, so I can start looking for a job tomorrow. Um, I got a decent little cushion, but once I start paying October bills, that decent little cushion is going to start dwindling. Uh, while I'm over here at the storage unit, I might do a merch video. I might do that separate from this video um, and just put all the merch out. And if you guys are interested, help it support the channel. Right now, help it support me a little bit until I can find a job. Um, you know, I didn't, I did this move by choice, but the choice for it was the right choice. My father in law is not doing real well, so we moved down here to help take care of him. and my mother-in-law try to ease the burden on her a little bit because her hands are full um so you know i did it for a good reason and i'm not telling you that to get a sob story or anything it's just that's the reason we moved i i quit a six-figure year job um my wife almost six-figure a year job we both quit our jobs moved down here to help take care of her parents um and to be close to them because they live out in the sticks we bought, you guys have been watching the series, we bought the RV, the camper, and we've been tiny home living in that. Um, well, we've been couch surfing the last month because of the move, but you know what I'm saying. So anyways, um, I might throw a merch video together today because that's where all the merch is. Do a little inventory, uh, see what I got over there. I wish I could keep it. Oof, there's a skunk somewhere. Uh, figure out what I got. I looked at doing a Shopify account, too much money. I'm not a real techie guy, so I don't know if I'd be able to run my own website, but um, I don't know, I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll just post the pictures on the Thriller Miller Racing 46 Facebook page. If you guys are on the face space, go check me out. Um, like and follow on there, and then you can 
can get a hold of me through there if you guys want some merch. I got bottle openers, I got t shirts no, I don't have any t-shirts, I'm out of t-shirts. I got hats, beer koozies, I got lanyards coming. Um, I got all kinds of stuff. I'll get pictures of it and post it in a separate video, so be on the lookout for that video. Any who's in the way, we're going to get over to the storage unit. We're here so that being said we got to go get this thing uh unloaded smell brakes brakes are getting hot again always something i i just i i'm at a loss i've got so much i still got all this I don't know what I'm gonna do, fellers and fellas. This is a mess. Moses, Sandals, a guy who's got a lot of stuff. Well, that's gonna wrap up this video for right now. We're uh, we're full. And the race unit is full of toys and some other junk now. But anyways, I appreciate you guys as always. Uh, I don't think we're going to end this video yet. I think we're going to get back to the house and do a little bit more. But if I do, like, comment, share, subscribe, and appreciate you guys. But if not, we'll see you back here in a few.